Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I thought I would do a monthly favourites video for you all and to be honest it's a little less heavy on the products because I haven't been wearing so much. I literally have not been this made up in like two weeks. <laughs> it actually feels really good. Um, but I thought I would do my monthly favourites um, anyway and throw a little bit um, or a little more um, kind of lifestyle stuff in there as well as per usual. Um, so starting off with makeup, I've got one favourite makeup product this month and this is actually a foundation. I, re I feel like I have so many foundation favourites, I'm so disloyal when it comes to foundation. Um, however, this one is a new release and it's bloody brilliant. It's the Estee Lauder Futurist... Futurist? Hydra Rescue Moisturising Makeup. It has SPF 45. The shade I use is 2N1 Desert Beige. Um, and this is really nice if you have um, not oily skin. I feel like this would be fine for normal skin. It would be brilliant for dry skin. Um, it's just really fresh looking. It looks very natural on the skin. It leaves you with a nice kind of glow, but it's not like glowy, if you know what I mean. It's just not drying, not cakey, it's really natural looking, really easy to wear and perfect for like this time when it's a bit weird and a lot of us aren't really wearing a lot of makeup day to day. I just put one pump of this and just like it makes me look a bit fresher and a bit brighter. Um, I'm not wearing just one pump of this today, I'm wearing a whole lot more makeup than that. In case you're wondering, it's not that magic. Um, but it is really good like everyday um, kind of natural fresh makeup. I really, really like it. I'm a big fan of, um... <laughs> that's, that's Mike and River outside in the car, playing in the car. Um, can't go anywhere, but you know, just beeping the horn. Um, it is really good and, um, I would definitely recommend it. I'm a big fan of Estee Lauder, um, bases in general. I'm gonna have to knock on the window if they keep going. Hopefully they'll stop. Mike knows I'm filming, I think. Um, so yeah, big fan of that. New launch from Estee Lauder is brilliant. And then another, are you kidding me? <laughs> another favorite, <laughs> another favorite of mine is the, um, is this, which was a completely random Amazon find. I was, this was like a month or two ago. Uh, probably one, no, what, a month ago, not two months. Um, because I definitely haven't used up the whole thing and I would have if I'd had too much of it. I'd use about half of it. Um, this was a random Amazon find when I was ordering God knows what on Amazon, the usual like household stuff. Um, and this came up as like an advertised product and the reviews were really, really good. And I'm not usually one of those people that falls for the like, oh my God, Amazon reviews are amazing. But I've been looking for a really good um, purple, shampoo for ages that actually like was quite drastic in terms of taking the warmth out of my hair. I haven't used it in about a week so um, it's kind of like not massively in effect now but this stuff is amazing and if you're looking for a purple shampoo that really knocks that um, yellowy brassiness out of your hair. I know a lot of us aren't able to go to the hairdressers right now or for the foreseeable future um, so if you are blonde it's probably a good alternative. Um, yeah, it's quite punchy. Be very careful with it. Um, the instructions like say it all basically like build up the amount of time you leave this in your hair because you might end up with like bluey purple hair, which if you're looking for that, that's fine. But if you're not, could be a bit of a disaster. Um, but yeah, it is like the most effective um, blue kind of shampoo that I've ever used, purple shampoo that I've ever used. I say blue because it is like, like look at it intense it's intense and I do not want to drop this on my carpet I think it was about 15 pounds or 12 pounds so that's been a favorite this month um, along with my living proof um, mousse I still use that I love that the purple what's it called I can't remember off the top of my head but I'll put a link to it um, it's like the purple toning mousse from them that is like a much lighter um, every time you wash your hair type situation this is like once a week once every two weeks maybe um, and then my final kind of beauty favourite is a hand wash. Surprise, surprise, we're all using quite a lot of hand wash right now. Um, but this is a really special one. This is from Soap & Co, or The Soap Co? Soap Co. The Soap Co, yeah, not Soap & Co. The Soap Co. Um, 
this is a brand that I've had a few things from in the past and they're a really amazing brand. They actually have 80% of their staff are either blind or disabled in some way. So they're not only doing amazing things in terms of their workforce and who they're employing, but also their formulas are um, really natural, sustainable. They do a completely plastic free range, which this is part of in terms of the packaging. They use recycled materials, it's all recyclable, things like that. So they're re doing really good things as a company, but at the same time, they're a really nice kind of luxury company. This is the Black Oud and Jasmine Luxury Hand Wash. It smells divine, like absolutely divine. Um, and this is part, like I said, this is part of the plastic free range. So this pump is actually from an old hand wash that I had. And when I replaced like the, the thing is not quite long enough. I need to get a longer, um, a longer what stick thing, a longer pump. <laughs> um, but yeah, so when my old hand wash ran out, I just stole the pump off the top of this one and put it in here. This smells divine. Um, and feels very luxurious when you're washing your hands doesn't dry your hands out um yeah really really like this company love this hand wash as well um and that is it for my like beauty products i've got two books to recommend to you all the first one is an audio book so i don't have it in a book format um is so lucky by dawn porter um i really like dawn porter i think i had i mentioned the cows in um a monthly favorites a couple of months ago which was one of her other books which is actually quite an old book but I read it I was kind of late to the game on that one so lucky is her newest one it came out I think in like October or something like that so a few months ago now um and I really enjoyed listening to it I love the audiobooks um I'm really like I'm really picky with my audiobooks I don't like I just don't like a lot of people that read audiobooks you know what I mean like if I find their voice annoying I'm like no no, no I can't do it and I'll switch off but um Dawn I Porter's books she narrates like at least one of the characters in them so um and she's brilliant and the other lady that does it is brilliant as well and just as an audiobook it's great I'm sure it's also great as a book if you want to read a normal book not an audiobook the story is really good um if you're online and um all of that jazz which you guys you are right now but if you have a big kind of presence and and you're online you spend a lot of time online i feel like you'll relate to it a lot i related to the book a lot i found it really funny um it's kind of one of those books and i feel like dawn o'port is one of those writers that's like it's really easy reading it's not like gonna you know it's blow your mind in terms of being super intellectual um it's definitely like an easy read but i think at the moment we could all do with a little bit of an uplift in terms of a little bit of humour, um, kind of entertaining and just um, quite funny. Um, so yes, that is um, So Lucky by Dordo Porter. And then the other book that I actually read, I read a physical book for the first time in a while. Um, I feel like I listen to so many audiobooks, especially um, when I'm driving, and obviously not now because this week's been a little bit no driving, no driving at all. Um, no leaving the house at all. I literally have not even left the house, apart from going in the garden, I haven't left the house at all this week. Um, and anyway, so I didn't actually read this this week. I read this when I was on holiday a few weeks ago in South Africa, which feels like a lifetime ago right now. Um, but I really enjoyed this. Um, it is Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reid. This is in the kind of like bestseller list at the moment. So I feel like it's probably a new release. Um, and it's, you know what, I really enjoyed reading this, but I was a little bit disappointed by the end. But I'm not going to let that, like, make me not recommend it, because I feel like the actual book itself was really good. I, I enjoyed how it was entertaining and had, like, a bit of a kind of mystery, like, twisty um, storyline, but at the same time deals with quite relevant issues um in society in terms of race yeah it still has that like light-hearted easy to read um vibe to it but it definitely has like an underlying message which is an interesting and positive one and i enjoyed it especially because i have um a young daughter that is pretty much the same age as the kid in this book found it quite interesting um so yes i would recommend reading that and what else have i been loving this month cooking the last few weeks obviously we've all been kind of confined to our houses um i've been doing so much cooking I've, I've started baking bread again i would say i'd learnt to bake bread 
but I learnt last year and I've kind of like been practicing a bit more now and I've, I'd say, I haven't said I've perfected it, but I'd say I've like definitely improved my skills. I've been baking bread every week um, and I've been baking soup, baking soup, baking soup, you don't bake soup. I've been making soup um, most weeks as well um, and I've just really like fallen in love with cooking again, which I haven't... I feel like in my normal day-to-day -day life over the past kind of like five or six years, I've just been so go, go, go that I haven't kind of enjoyed cooking and I really, as a person, really enjoy cooking and I'd kind of like fallen out of sync with it and I feel like this enforced um, coronavirus madness has like meant that I'm in the house more, I've got more time and I've really had to find um, joy in the smaller things in life as we all probably do right now and um, I've really just fallen in love with cooking again. Um, leek and potato soup, I've been cooking chickpea and spinach soup which was in my vlog a couple of days ago. Um, yeah, bread, I just, yeah, beetroot soup I've been making, I've been loving it. Um, so I've fallen in love with cooking again, I'm trying to think of anything else, anything else that I've been watching or loving this month. In terms of Netflix, I feel like I haven't watched that much on Netflix. Um, I've, I'm like halfway through a series called The October Faction, which is a um, kind of unashamedly cheesy teen angst vampire series, and if you're into that, maybe give it a watch. It's no Vampire Diaries, but um, as a long, long time vampire obsessive, started with Buffy, I might just rewatch Buffy. I swear, if I rewatch Buffy now, I would know like all of the words to all of the episodes. I was a hard core Buffy fan when I was a kid. Hardcore. Um, like the only time I dressed up for Halloween, the one time I think I dressed up for Halloween, I dressed up as Buffy, obviously. I was like a little chubby 10 year old Buffy. Um, but yeah, anyway, enough of that trip down memory lane. Um, yeah, the October Faction, kind of enjoying it, but it's not like groundbreaking. The other thing actually that's just come out yesterday, so it's not like a monthly favourite, but it's like a one day favourite, is the Disney, um, what's it called, Disney Plus, which is basically like Netflix, but for Disney. If you guys have kids or you just love Disney movies or you love Star Wars, I think, I'm going to check how much it is because Mike told me it was like £50 a year but often he lies because when things are expensive I tell him off. Um, so often he'll be like, oh it's £50 a year when it's £100 a year. Um, so I'm just going to check it because, oh yeah, it's £59.99 a year, so it's £60 a year um, or £6 a month. So. Um, in comparison to actually buying Disney movies, like I buy probably one new Disney movie a month for River um, and download it onto our iPad. So she has like Frozen, Aladdin, all those kind of things. But they're actually really expensive. Even the old ones that were big when I was a kid, so like Aladdin, Lion King, they're still $13.99 each. So when you buy them, I feel like, I don't know, I feel, I feel like £60 a year is a like really good price, it's basically the same kind of price as Netflix, but for something that we use a lot, and in comparison to Sky, which is insanely expensive, um, I feel like you just have like all of that, you've got the whole of Disney, Pixar, um, Star Wars, I think it's National Geographic as well, like all of that kind of back catalogue, um, whilst we're stuck in the house. I mean, even if you just join it for a month for six quid, bargain. Um, so yeah, we've been watching a lot of that. Um, River is a big fan of the shorts as well. You know the Pixar shorts that a lot of the time they'll put um, before movies and stuff. She, We've been watching a few of those with her and they're, they're not only brilliant, but she's loving them as well because um, I feel like it's a good amount of time for her attention span. Um, I think that's pretty much it for my monthly favourites. So yeah, even though we're all stuck in the house, like there's definitely been positives in it, right? Like we're, I've definitely discovered some monthly favorites that I wouldn't have had if we weren't stuck in the house. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you're staying, you're all staying positive um, and enjoying this really nice weather that we've got at the moment. By the time this video goes up in a couple of days, it's probably gonna be raining again, let's face it, England. But at the moment, it's glorious sunshine. So I hope having a little bit of sunshine coming through your windows is literally brightening up your day um, and, that's it from me. I'll see you later.